example, Intel is launching two new Arc B Pro cards. One is B60 and one is B50. Those are the obviously part of Arc Pro series, meaning they are in this specifically targeting at gaming. Yes, they are not for game. They are not gaming GPUs. So the leaks was correct. B60 is coming with 24 GB of VRAM and B50 is with 16 GB. Additionally, the rumors about the dual BGM G21 configuration have been confirmed. Our board partner has unveiled the dual GPU solution featuring massive 48 GB of memory. The Arc Pro B60 uses the full BGM G21 GPU with 20xe2 cores and 160xmx engine it can deliver up to 197 tops for integer 8 operation with total board power reaching from 120 to 200 watt depending on the model obviously however it is limited to a gen 5 x8 interface the model includes 24 gb of vram connected by 192 bit memory interface and you uses 19 gbps gddr6 memory offering 456 gbs of bandwidth intel has also introduced a project called battle matrix which involved combining two battle modes gpu to develop up to 192 gb of vram across the system this is done by linking up to eight Arc Pro cards. As mentioned, one partner, Maxon, has revealed a custom card with 48 GB of GDDR6 memory and dual GPUs. The Arc Pro B50 is also on the way. The more affordable model with 16XE2 cores, 128XMX engine, and ended up to 170 tops with integer 8 performance. This GPU comes with 16 GB of VRAM. The Arc Pro B50 is set to launch at 299 MSRP in USA, while the higher end Arc Pro B60 will be priced around 500. Both Arc Pro GPUs are expected to launch in Q3 this year with custom sampling already underway. The card will initially be available through system built by top workstation vendors however a standalone diy launch is also being considered potentially after software optimization is finalized around q4 here you can see the difference between b60 and v50 gpu i'm gonna give a link of this news from video cards go check it out it's an amazing news uh, I totally just read the news or <laughs> nothing else so that's it hopefully this card gonna be a very good budget budget card obviously it's for mainly for work but people are gonna use it for gaming too that's it subscribe thank you